All right, thanks for coming. We're going to get started. Welcome to the 2024 DHS2 Annual Conference. And uh, Alice and I will start by giving you some practical information, and then we'll have the conference opening with Ola and Kristen. Alice? Yeah. Good morning, everyone. So I'm going to start to, to, to give by giving you some practical details about logistics. Thank you. So throughout the annual conference, uh, the sessions will be hosted in the two main buildings, meaning Sophus Lies Auditorium, where we are this morning. This is where we will host all the plenary sessions. When it comes to the parallel sessions, we will go to William Birkness Hus building, which is really the building facing this one, a uh, couple of meters, not far at all, one minute walk, not even one minute actually. Um, there we will use the auditoriums one, two, four, five. And then for the lunch breaks, um, we will have the lunch breaks in Frédéric uh, building, which is a building you actually need to cross the main square. Um, to, uh, to go to that building, but in any case, there will be some colleagues of ours who will be there to direct you to Frederick uh, building. Um, and the when it comes to the coffee breaks, they will be hosted in Sophus Lies lobby area, which is right outside this auditorium on the mornings, and in the afternoons, they will be hosted in the other building, the William Birkness buildings. So if you want to have more information about these venues, don't hesitate to check, and also about the session, sorry, uh, to check out the agenda, which is available on the dac2024.dhis2.org, uh, whether it's with your laptop or your mobile. And now, very important information, actually, uh, Wi-Fi. If you need internet, these are the credentials you will need to use. The network is called conferences and then you have the password. Uh, I believe on each of your desks, you also have some uh, this information available. So yeah, and if you lose uh, the, the, the information, then you can ask one of us, no problem, we'll tell you. When, and now the toilets, we have some to toilets in this building, it will be downstairs in the basement, you just have to follow um, the signs if there is no sign, you just have to go down basically by the staircase, very easy to find. And in William Birkness, it will be on the ground floor. There you will see the signs and, uh, to show where the toilets are. And finally, if you need some water, I believe each of you has very nice cups, blue cups, DHIS2, yeah? You can use them and fill your, your cups with water. Um, in the toilet, for instance, you have some taps water, so you can drink it. And also during the coffee breaks, we will have some water available. All right, so let's talk about the agenda. Uh, this is a four-day conference. Uh, we hope you all got the agenda. There are copies outside, then print version. You can also find it on the app. Um, there are a lot of sessions going on. We start Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday with plenary sessions here in this hall. And then we split up to parallel sessions, which is, as Alice mentioned, is across the courtyard. And, um, there are quite a number of these, so I think it's important to look at the schedule in advance, pick the ones that seem interesting to you. And uh, this year, we've also introduced longer breaks between sessions. We hope that's helpful in uh, allowing you to also reset between sessions. Um, we did get 250 abstract submissions this year, which is a new record, so we really appreciate everyone who sent in their abstracts to us. And uh, you'll see a lot of those presented in the sessions of the conference, and also a lot of them as posters, either in the hall across the way or online. There are 119 speakers in total, 76 sessions in total. And um, this year, in addition to all the sessions, we're introducing some new activities uh, on Tuesday and Wednesday. So you'll see here it says at 8.30, which is when we start the conference, we'll be in this room, and we'll start with a quiz tomorrow. So you can come and test your knowledge of DHS2 and HISP. And uh, on Wednesday morning, we'll do another activity using the community practice. And uh, the winners of those will get some exciting prizes. So we really encourage you to be here on time and uh, join in those activities, which we think will be a lot of fun. Uh, you can find the entire program online. There's a link here, and that's through the dac2024.dhs2.org website. And there's a printer-friendly version, also several printed copies out here in the lobby for you to take. Uh, there's also an app you can download. This is uh, available to uh, review the entire um, set of conference information, including the agenda. Um, you can look at the sessions, speakers, make your own personal agenda. 
one thing is you need to log into this to be able to get the session details, and that's the same login as you use for the website. So we encourage you to try it out if, uh, if you'd like to have the session agenda on your phone. And we're also using the community practice pretty extensively this year. So this is something you can do both as an online participant and as an in-person participant. If you go to the community practice and look for the tag DAC2024, there's also a link to this in the banner of the homepage of the website. There you can find a lot of useful information like links to the plenaries. Uh, you can also find a lot of posts about the abstracts that were accept accepted for the different sessions. And there you can ask questions, add your comments, read more about the topic and maybe help decide which sessions you want to go to. Uh, we also have a digital poster gallery, which we'll talk about. And, and we can also find their links to watch the live streams of the plenary sessions if you're joining us as an online participant. And as I mentioned before, the community practice is where we'll be doing this activity on Wednesday. So if you don't already have an account, we encourage you to sign up so you can join in on that and have a chance to win. Uh, we'll also be running the app competition this year on the community practice. Uh, and we'll be seeing a preview of the three finalists for the app competition in one of the sessions this morning. And then you can go to the COP and watch the entire presentations of those three apps. And uh, Austin will talk about that a little bit later this morning. And we'll be announcing the winner of that competition later this week. There are a lot of people joining us online. I think we have a total of 1,300 registered online participants this year. So this information is primarily for them. But anyone here who wants to also check in on rooms uh, and using Zoom for sessions you're not able to sit into in person, you're welcome, welcome to do that as an in-person participant also. All this information is available in the online agenda. You have to sign in to get access to the Zoom links. Um, and we did make it try to try to make it easier for people by keeping the same Zoom link for each room for each day. So you don't need to memorize a lot of links. You just need to find them once and then uh, keep track of which room you're in for those sessions. Um, and this is also how we're doing French interpretation, which Alice is going to talk about. Yes. So we we have some French interpretation. So you're on mute. Oh, sorry. <coughs> yes. Sorry. So we are providing some front interpretation um, for all the plenary sessions as well as some of the parallel sessions. To access this um, interpretation in French, uh, it will be through Zoom meetings. So all those of you who have signed up, whether it's online or in person, mentioning that they are French speakers, they have received the direct links um, to, uh, to join the meetings on Zoom. Uh, maybe I will switch to French. So, yeah. Donc, euh, comme je le disais précédemment, l'interprétation est disponible pour la communauté francophone. Euh, il faut, si vous voulez bénéficier de l'interprétation, que vous soyez là avec nous maintenant à Osso ou alors en ligne, c'est très simple. Vous avez normalement reçu un email de ma part avec les liens Zoom pour chacune des, euh, pour chacune des sessions. Donc, dans la matinée, toutes les sessions plénières sont disponibles en français, interprétation en direct en français. Par contre, dans l'après-midi, ce sera une sélection de sessions parallèles. Euh, vous pouvez les reconnaître sur l'agenda parce qu'elles ont la mention e, euh, anglais vers français à côté du titre. Et j'ai également envoyé la liste de chaque session euh, à tous les membres de la communauté francophone qui, font, euh, qui, qui participent à cette, euh, à cette conférence. Donc c'est très simple, vous cliquez sur le lien Zoom, vous, euh, vous serez dirigé dans la session Zoom, vous verrez le petit, un, un, un petit... Euh, une, un globe, vous cliquez sur le globe et vous sélectionnez français. Et de ce fait, vous serez directement basculé vers la, la, la salle française avec, où vous pourrez, vous pourrez entendre les interprètes euh, et les présentations en français. Donc voilà, très simple. Merci. Oh yeah. And we have another important component of the annual conference are the online posters gallery. So um, we have a series of posters that we made available on the community of practice and we really encourage each of you to go to the community of practice, um, tag DAC 2024 posters to discover these projects, very interesting pro projects which were submitted by our partners during the call for abstracts. And then we have another activity, also very important, uh, which are the poster presentations. Uh, they are slightly similar to what we used to call the use case bazaar, except that for this year, uh, these poster presentations will be happening every day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today, uh, it will be from four to six, but Tuesday and Wednesday, it will be for four, from four to five. You will have the opportunity to basically discover 10 very interesting use cases 
they differ from day to day, so it's really, really nice. It will be in William Birkness uh, building during the networking sessions. You will have the opportunity to just walk from a poster to another, ask questions to the presenters, and discovering more about what they are doing. The list of presentations for every day is available in the agenda on Drifta. So do not hesitate to check out the agenda to see what are the 10 posters of the day, so that you have an idea about what you want to see and where you want to go. And then besides, we also have during the networking sessions, the expert lounges and the tech support. So um, you will have some topical tables available still in William Birkness on specific topics. Same here as well. If you want to see what expert lounge take place every day, please go to the agenda and you have a list of the different um, the different tables, uh, expert lounges tables. Plus, in addition, we'll have some group discussions on very specific topics. For instance, on Tuesday, it will be on tracker to aggregate. You will be able to see the venue also in the agenda. It's in one of the auditorium. And then on, the, on Wednesday, you will have uh, three group discussions on climate data, uh, DHS2 toolkits, as well as academic paper writing. So do not hesitate to check out once again the agenda to make sure you don't, you don't miss one of, these, one of these sessions. And one more thing, uh, during the, these networking sessions we will have some drinks and snacks available. Today it will be from 4, PM and six, uh, from 4 to 6 p.m. as I was saying, in William Birkness uh, lobby area. We all right, and I'll talk about this part. So, <laughs> While you're all gathering around these social events, which as Alice mentioned, has a lot of different parts. We have, there's just sort of networking, we have the experts' lounges, um, we have the posters. Uh, me and my team will also be there to uh, encourage you to come over and talk to us on camera. We're doing short interviews as we've done for each of the past couple years. Uh, we just ask one question, which is what does DHS2 mean to you? And then we, you know, we just wait for you to say what you want to say. And that's been really fun actually the past few years. We've had some really great interviews from people from all over the world, so we're happy to encourage people to come and talk to us again this year. So just look for me or my colleagues or send us an email uh, at our comms at dhs2.org email address if you want to schedule a time. We're especially interested in Ministries of Health and other government partners who are here. If you want to sit down with us for a longer interview, we're open to that and we have time uh, throughout the week. And I think this is another one for Alice to talk about. It's an exciting event this week. Yes, so my favorite part. <laughs> On Thursday, we will, have, we will celebrate the 30th anniversary of HISP here in the main square. Um, so it will be basically an evening full of speeches, emotional speeches, um, as well as international selection of food and drinks. So I want to insist on that one to say that my African friends, we heard you, and this year we will try to meet your requirements. <laughs> Um, some vibrant musical performances you can see here. Um, very happy to say that actually Admiral P here is uh, one of the biggest Norwegian reggae, raga, and soul musicians. So we will have the honor to have him um, for this uh, celebration. And uh, yeah, last one, unpredictable weather. <coughs> Fingers crossed it will not rain. Um, I cannot promise, I cannot guarantee. So. Don't forget to bring a raincoat. Um, Maybe useful, actually. Umbrella as well. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> but yeah, inshallah. <laughs> and then, oh, sorry. Um, we actually, before the celebration, uh, which will start uh, at 4.30, we will have at 4 the traditional group picture. So usually we, we have it on Monday. This year it will be on Thursday. So uh, make sure to join us, make sure to be ready uh, to at four in the square for the group picture. And then, yeah, my DAC 2024 experience. One of the things that we really like during the annual conference is uh, collecting pictures from all of you. So please, as usual, do not hesitate to take pictures to share your best moments on social media. Um, this year we put together, we, you have this QR code which is very practical, so the idea, and you can also find it on the tables, the idea is that when you take a picture, you just 
uh, go on the QR code, scan the QR code, and you will be able to actually upload your pictures to the QR code, uh, to the, um, yeah, to the QR code, if I can say. So, uh, yes, don't be shy, please. Take loads of pictures. Do not hesitate to share them uh, on the por DHS2 portal, but also on social media, whether it's Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. The only thing that we, uh, we would like you to do, not to forget, is really use the hashtag that DAC2024 so that we can easily find your pictures on the social media. And we will try to select the best ones and to, um, to show them during the closing ceremony. All right, and this is another special thing we're doing this year, which is we're trying to recognize people, um, both among the participants, among the team that's responsible for the conference. Um, so we're trying to give out some awards this year on Thursday, in addition to the app competition. And some of this is, uh, are awards that you can earn by being really engaged in the conference. And this could mean giving your feedback on sessions, sharing your comments with us, posting on social media about the conference, submitting a good photo. Um, so we'll surprise you with, with, with the list of the final awards are on Thursday, but these are some things you can do during this week um, to help us out and make the conference really the best for everyone uh, this year. And if you have questions, uh, Alice is the person who's really behind this conference, so you can ask her, or you can send an email to this address, oslo2024dhs2.org, or any person you see wearing one of these blue staff badges will help you out.